you have to understand that it's true. By not reacting, they will get worse. And as long as your life is not on the line, okay, so again, this, this advice is really for people that are in emotionally abusive relationships. If at any point there is a threat of physical violence, then these are not the videos that you want to be looking at, okay, because then you're not just looking at somebody that's a narcissist, but they're a step up and they could be psychopathic if they're willing to um, be physically abusive, if they're willing to break the law. That's a whole different ballgame. So I'm talking about somebody that you, you really know in your heart, you're like, okay, this person isn't going to hurt me physically. It's all emotional abuse. And in no way am I trying to minimize in the pain of emotional abuse. I'm just trying to make a differentiation between that and psychopathic behavior, okay? So the reality is, is they are going to get worse because when they feel their own rage, their own anger, their own frustration, their own insecurities, they, rather than work through those emotions and kind of resolve them inside, they work through them by flinging them on somebody else. So by you not reacting frustrated, angry, sad, whatever they're trying to provoke in you, you are stopping them from regulating themselves through you, which is good for you, but does not feel good for them. So when you start changing, you kind of have to expect it to get worse in that sense. You have to expect them to not like the fact that you are living more in your own body. They're used to you emptying yourself so they can put into you whatever they want. Okay. Congratulations for getting to that place. But it isn't easy when you're still in the situation because obviously the other person is going to get angry. If at that moment you have the thought, well, let me just explode so that the argument can be over that's enabling their dysregulation to be regulated through you and it might feel like it's easier but what you're really doing each time you do that is you're abandoning self you're emptying yourself and you're taking in and formulating part of your personality in ways that aren't you nor would you want to have those qualities right so you have to remember that Okay, so that's what happens to you. You wind up with beliefs like I'm responsible for this person to stay calm. I have to do this. Otherwise, you know, something bad will happen. So I have to explode. And basically the subconscious beliefs that are attached to that are being calm isn't safe. Being grounded and, and myself and empowered isn't safe. And when those become part of your subconscious programs, it's really hard because now you have the narcissist trying to get you to not be you. But once those programs are inside of your subconscious mind, it's almost like our subconscious tries to keep that our reality. Our brain is a reality creating machine. And if those beliefs get in there and become part of your subconscious programs, your inner self is gonna to try to keep you stuck in those programs. And that just makes the healing journey harder.